Yeah. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk. Yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Mm-hmm. Spending hours by your bedside, talking till it's dark out somehow. Can get you off my mind. Don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Maybe we should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared to fall in. Don't wanna go. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about things that I am loving in my home for April. So if you didn't know, I started a series earlier this year talking to you about things that I am loving in my home for each month and also showing you anything new that I picked up in that month to use here in my home. Remember earlier in the year, I said, I'm putting myself on a restriction of $25. We all know <laughs> that didn't work very well. Um, so yeah, I decided, you know, if I love it and it's not a lot of money, why not go ahead and get it if it makes you happy. Life is too short. If a little decor makes you happy, why not? So I did throw the $25 budget out the window and I have been picking up some things here each month that I am loving in my home, as well as things that I continue to love in my home that I did invest a significant amount of money into. I always tell you how to shop with style on a budget, but today I'm gonna show you some items basically canvases that I really did kind of splurge on and spent more than I normally would. But these are statement pieces, investment pieces, things that I will use year after year that you know I won't readily get rid of. You've seen them in my, my home many, many times. So yeah, a lot of you like them, you wonder where they're from. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So if you love home decor and you love decorating with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. I would so love to have you. So I think a couple of days ago, I showed you guys a home decor haul in which I featured some things that I had picked up for the month of April. Well, they weren't. Well, I bought them in the month of April, but I didn't showcase them in this video because it was a lot of items. If you missed that video, I will leave it linked down in the description box down below, as well as in the iCards above. If you want to go check that out, I found some really, really pretty pieces. So in today's video, it's going to be sort of a continuation of that, of the things that I picked up that I haven't yet shown you. So one of those things was I, hold on. I can't want to keep moving you. Just a second. All right. So we were talking about pillow covers. One of the things I didn't show you that I had initially picked up that I was going to use and then decided, mm, I don't know, were these. These pillow covers that I picked up from H&M Home. Oh yes, and today's shirt, shirt of the day is, nope, not today. So yeah. Um, but I picked up these pillow covers and I thought they were gonna be black and white. And one thing that I found from H&M Home is that when something says it's white, it's not white, it's cream. As you can see, this is cream. So I won't be ordering any more pillowcases from H&M Home, but in case this might go with your style, I thought I would show you that I picked these up. These were $5.99 from H&M Home. So I absolutely love the pattern, just not the color. So I think I'll probably be giving these to my daughter. So then the other thing that I picked up from H&M Home that has not arrived yet 
that I absolutely fell in love with and I can't wait to get is this face. Oh my gosh, when I saw this face, I was like, I have to have it, it's so, so pretty. So it is abstract in design. You guys know I love abstract design. I show you many pieces that I pick up around my, that I've picked up and styled in my home that are abstract in nature, like this white piece that I picked up from home goods I believe a few years ago I just love the modern aesthetic of it I love the abstract design so when I saw this face on H&M home I had to have it so it is a little pricey again a splurge guys not something that I typically do but if it's something that I'm going to use year after year I don't mind spending a little more money so I ordered this online because I don't have an H&M store near me. And I wanna say it was like $70. $70, Cheryl, are you crazy? Yeah, that, <laughs> that day I was crazy. And my boyfriend doesn't know, so don't tell him. But anyway, I love the vase. I thought it was perfect. So I can't wait for it to arrive. It should be here next week. And to go along with that, to stay in the vein of vases, I saw this vase initially, I wanna say last year sometime, and I wanted to buy it. Sorry, I keep moving you. I wanted to buy it, but it was out of stock. And when I saw that it was back in stock, I had to pick it up. Now this is gray. Again, a little pricey. This was $59 from Kirkland's and I think this came in black and white. So they had a white one, but I want it black. Um, I don't know, black I felt like would just work more, I don't know, work better in the space. So even though this is gray, I feel like I, it'll be easier to change it to black with some spray paint or just hand painting. You guys know I love to hand paint. So this was $59. But right now they have 20% off this weekend. So I ended up picking this up for like $47. Absolutely love it. So again, a little pricey, but it's oversized and something that I'll use year after year. So I went ahead and picked it up. Now, the next thing that I'm loving in my home that I showed you, I showed you those coffee table books. Um, the one, oops, the one from Vanity Fair that I'm gonna be styling in my loft space. And that will be my next video. But I also showed you this book. This book I'm gonna be doing a DIY on. It came from the thrift store, it's like $5. But I was watching Sandy from Sister Cousins Lifestyle. You guys know Sandy. She did a, I think it was Decorate Her Entryway. And she featured this book and I'm thinking, why have I never seen this book before? Like, have I seen it and just not paid attention? Like, where have I been? And it's this book, this Simplicity book. I love the colors of this. And I think I have seen this before, but I don't know why I never pulled the trigger or wanted to buy it. But Sandy, you influenced me, girl. When I saw this and look, it's black and white. I thought it would be perfect to style in my loft. You know we're doing a modern chic or a modern safari look up there. I thought this book would be perfect for that. If I were doing modern chic, it would look like this, styled on the coffee table. Or if I were doing the modern safari, I would take the cover off and it would look like this. So, so pretty. And I love the black, it's just very nice. Now this book, I wanna say, is currently on sale for around 30 something dollars, I think, on Amazon. This one, I did look for a cheap, It always seems my refrigerator knows when I'm filming a video because it likes to feel the ice maker. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting the thumbnail. So I went hunting for this, you know, where they give you the option to look for a cheaper price. I found this at a Goodwill online from Amazon. 
and I want to say it was $20. Um, so that is a tip. If you were looking for home decor books, but you don't want to pay full price, look at the other buying options and you can always find them at a fraction of the cost. This one, as you can see, looks brand new. No scuff marks, nothing dirty on it. Yeah, same it ourselves $14. So always look for those additional buying options. And then I think that's everything new that I picked up for the month of April so that you haven't seen again. There were other items. Oh, all right. So to go along with the H&M haul, it wasn't a haul, it was just two or three things. I found this small bubble vase. It's actually a tea light holder. So, so nice. Look at that. So modern. I love the aesthetic of this. This was... How much were you? I don't have my glasses. I can't see. You know, your girl can't see a thing. Um, it does not say how much these were. I think they were $4.99. I don't remember. Uh, I will leave them linked in the description box down below in case you were you like these and want to pick some up for yourself. So I thought these were oh so nice. So I went ahead and picked them up. I cannot wait to style with these. I think I'm going to style these in my lounge area on my fireplace. All right. So that's everything new that I picked up um, that I haven't shown you again. I showed you other items in the video two or three days ago. I will leave that link so you can go check out everything else that I picked up for the month of April. But now I'm going to show you things that I have been loving in my home and we're going to start with canvases. So let me take you around and show you what I am loving in my home that I've already had for several years in the month of April. Um, this piece came from Grandin Road, uh, I want to say six years ago. Um, it is supposed to be hung vertically, but I have hung it horizontally because I just like the way it looks horizontally versus vertically. But if you want to elevate your home or your space, buy some oversized artwork. It will do wonders for the space. I absolutely love this. As you can see, this is a black canvas that is darker than the wall, but it all works really well together and I absolutely love it. The next oversized art piece that I love is this one. This one is a canvas of an owl and it also came from Grandin Road six years ago. I just love the look. I love the black and white. You know, black and white are my signature colors. And I don't know, I just love the little owl and the eye. And I don't know, I think it just makes a statement here on the wall. I absolutely love it. Again, it was an investment piece. Um, just like the other one, I think this was $300, I know. Very expensive, not something that I would typically spend a lot of money on. But again, this is an investment piece, something that I will keep using year after year. So I thought it was a great investment. I went ahead and picked it up. The other one, which you saw was also larger. It was, I wanna say $500. Again, an investment piece that I will use year after year. So if you wanna make a statement in your home, Large, oversized canvases are the way to go. You don't have to go to Grandin Road. You can go You can go to places like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They sell lots of oversized artwork at a very affordable price. So, yeah, I would recommend if you want to save money but still have a statement look with your art and you don't want to invest, you know, a lot of money in your pieces go to those places. So as you can see this artwork here behind me, I absolutely love it. It is oversized and it came from Ross. No, it came from Burlington and they were $39 a piece. So $80 for the two of them. And I think they look absolutely wonderful. Let me give you a closer look. 
So this is how the wall art looks. Again, the frames are different and I keep saying I'm gonna change them, but I haven't. But just look at the detail. Look how pretty this looks. The black and the gold and the green, you know. I use green as my accent color. I think it looks perfect here in the space. Absolutely love it. So Burlington is another place you can find some really affordable statement wall art. The next place where you can find some really affordable statement wall art is World Market, if you didn't know. So I absolutely love these two prints. They did come from World Market, I wanna say almost three years ago now. I absolutely love the aesthetic, the abstract design. Again, these were an investment. I wanna say they were around $199 a piece. Yeah, I know, a little pricey, but again, investment pieces. So I thought they went perfect here on the wall, so I did go ahead and pick them up. Again, you can find similar wall art at Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. You don't have to spend as much money as I did, but because they were framed, I thought it elevated the look here in my entryway, so I went ahead and picked them up, and I think it was a great investment. All right, so canvases, again, you can't go wrong. You can find them anywhere. Very affordable at, like I said, your Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those type of stores. But if you want to spend a little bit more money and you want to get large statement pieces, then I would say Grandin Road, Haverty's, Ashley Home Store, um, Value City, all of those places you can find some really statement pieces that are will just elevate the look in your home. So now we're going to switch to lighting. So when we first moved into this house, it had really, really horrible lighting. So we have changed every lighting fixture in this house. And and one of the lighting fixtures that I absolutely love that we changed is here in the kitchen. So I changed out, it was just a single, like a boob light, you know what those are, um, light. And so we couldn't do pendant lights, which is what I wanted to do. So what I would tell you guys is if you have a single light fixture like me, think about getting a rectangular light, one that's long. And so even though you might have like the hole right here in the center, you can center a rectangular light above your island or your dining table to give you that pendant light effect. And that's what we did. This one came from Overstock. It was similar to one that I had seen, I wanna say from CB2 which was a lot more money, but I found this one on Overstock. I wanna say it was around two or $300. I love the aesthetic. I love the way it looks here in the kitchen. So this is one of the items that I absolutely am loving for April. The next thing that I'm loving that I picked up is this crystal chandelier here in the kitchen, or, or it's part of the kitchen, but it's over the dining table. Absolutely love it. This is a new addition that I picked up recently. Um, it also came, oh no, it came from Amazon. And it reminded me of something that I saw at Restoration Hardware. You guys know I love Restoration Hardware, but not the Restoration Hardware prices. So I picked up this crystal chandelier. It was, I think, $199 to something which I didn't think was a bad deal. I absolutely love the way it looks here over the dining table. So I absolutely had to pick it up and that's one of the things that I'm loving for April. The next thing that I am loving for April is also, it's a new addition. It's this lamp here right off of my living room. I absolutely love it. I had to go ahead and pick it up. Again, it is similar to a lamp that I saw at Restoration Hardware and at our house, but this is a fraction of the cost. It was like $180, which I didn't think was bad. It's the same height, maybe just a teeny little bit shorter than the one from our house or Restoration Hardware but for a fraction of the price. They were like six, seven, eight hundred dollar range, less than two hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, please, and thank you. 
So the next lighting piece that I love, let me show you. This is the next lighting piece that I'm absolutely loving. This came from, I wanna say Overstock. It is my Fandelier. I just love the aesthetic that it gives here in the living room, so perfect. Um, you guys know my tastes are modern glam and just look at these crystals. Absolutely love this light. Um, I wanna say it was around, two or three hundred dollars i think but again it's an investment that i thought would look perfect here in my home again it was around three hundred dollars if i can find it i will link it for you um, in case you care to check it out the other lighting pieces that i love in my home are these these also came from overstock again i love the modern glam aesthetic and I thought these were perfect here in the entryway. They are sisters to each other. They're not exact, but I thought they looked perfect. And again, another item that I am loving here in my home for the month of April. Now, the next item that I wanna share with you that I'm absolutely loving in my home for the month of April is a DIY. Yes, it's a DIY. So a few days ago, I showed you how to upcycle some items using paint. And one of those were some florals that I picked up last year that we upcycle to use in my decorating space or decorating my loft for spring this year. And it's these plant or this plant. Guys, I am so in love with how this turned out. I absolutely love, love, love it. And it didn't cost us anything. All it cost us was a little paint. Well, it didn't cost us a paint because we already had it. But it looks so good. It looks so high end to me. And I am absolutely loving it. And I have it styled here on my coffee table in my loft. Again, you will be seeing the full loft clean and decor with clean and decorate with me coming soon. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do. So you do not miss that upcoming inspiration. I absolutely love, love, love how this turned out. The other thing that I am loving um, are these uttermost pieces in black. I showed you the ones in white. I think they were part of what I was loving in my home decor for March. And I told you that I had purchased black, but they hadn't arrived yet and they have. Oh my gosh, I know you've seen them. I think I showed them on my Instagram and in some reels and I think I showed you a sneak peek of them. Absolutely love the way they look. They were $199, I got them from Kimberly Capone's website. They have since gone up, so if you love these, just keep an eye out to see if you can find them at other places for a lot less money but absolutely love, 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 and I cannot wait to style these around my home. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video of things that I am, home decor items that I am loving in my home for the month of April. I have done these series for the past, what today will be four months. So if you have missed any of those videos, I will leave them linked in the description box down below so you can go check out each one, what I picked up, what I'm loving, how I style them. Yeah, so I hope it has given you some inspiration and just little ideas of how I have decorated around my home that you can do in your home as well. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can spend a fraction of what I did on my oversized art pieces, or you can DIY your own. You remember the, the DIY canvas that I did that we were inspired by from High Fashion Home? If you missed that, I'll put a little snippet in here. Absolutely love how those turned out as well. I didn't mention those in this video, but now I am. I am absolutely loving them. We're gonna be styling with those soon. So if you, want some home decorating inspiration and you want to do it on a budget though sometimes we might splurge a little bit then this is the channel for you so i would so appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell and if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up like i said i love decorating i love home decor I, you guys i told you i have a shopping addiction and i do <laughs> but i try to Keep everything in check. And I know, just to say, 
I am not the only one. I know a lot of you who are home decor enthusiasts, I should say, like myself, have a lot of home decor that we all love. And there is nothing wrong with that as long as you keep it in check. You don't want to become a hoarder, which my boyfriend accuses me of being. So I have been purging things in my home. And I was also called out by one of my <laughs> one of my YouTube friends. Oh, I forget her name, but she's like, Cheryl, love the haul. But if you're going to bring stuff in, you got to take stuff out. And girl, I hear you. I hear you. My boyfriend, <laughs> he hears you too. Um, so yeah, I have been purging. So when I bring something in, I do take something out. So rest assured, I am not, you know, just bringing in a bunch of home decor and not using it. It is being used and I will either donate it to the, to the thrift store, give it to a family member, friends, but yeah, I do purge. So enough rambling. I hope you enjoy the video. Again, give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more home decor inspiration, make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.